think there's lots that we can do as, as, as older women and younger women and young girls to aid conservation. And I think one of the most important things is to educate ourselves. I mean, so much is hidden from us in the world we live in. You know, just food appears on the plate, or, you know, you turn the light switch on and everything's fine. But we have to really understand what, not in a, a depressing way, but in underst really understand what it means to eat some Chilean sea bass. You know, is, is eating Chilean sea bass or tuna or salmon, is, is that really the most productive way you could get protein. And if you read about these things and you find out what's actually happening to these animals and how it's it's kind of like the fish that we tend to eat is kind of like e eating lions and tigers. These are, these are predators, these are high up on the food chain, so you have to feed them tons of, of small fish so that you can get your pound of, of, of salmon flesh. You've put you know five pounds of small fish into it, so even though the salmon are farmed, you still have to feed them wild fish. So so just find out about that stuff and then you can make inform, informed choices and maybe start, you know, forming a group at your school. What are you getting served in the cafeteria? I mean, you know, find out. And maybe you can band together and say, no, we, we don't want that. We would prefer this. So, you know, educate yourselves, find out, group together, Start a, a conservation club. That would be a great thing to do. I'm sure there'll be teachers in your school who'll be who'll be interested. Your biology teacher, I'm sh you know every biology teacher is is pro conservation. Um, you know, talk with them about what you can do. Talk with your parents. Um, you know, talk with your family. Talk with your friends. But mostly find out find out the facts, and then you can work out how how you want to live.